Now, Mashiach's half-brother Yehuda wrote of the Imunah, the faith, which was once for all handed down and transmitted to the Kadoshim. And the document Yehuda wrote is one of the most important ever written because it is written by one of the Zikanim, or the elders, the leaders of the Messianic Adat B'nai Yisrael in Yerushalayim, and it's early, it's authoritative, it's written by Yehuda, one of the brothers of Yaakov, the Shaliach, himself one of the Amudei HaKehilah, the, one of the pillars of the Kehilah in the early period of pre-Horban, Beis Sheni, uh, Judaism of the Kehilah of Mashiach in Jerusalem. And Yaakov, the Shaliach, died in 62 CE, al Kiddush Hashem, for the sake of his martyrs, Adis, or testimony, witness, as an emissary of the Zerad Dovid Mashiach, and as an eyewitness of the Tahiyas HaMashiach. And both of these, Yehuda and Yaakov, were half-brothers of Mashiach. And like Mashiach, they could indeed claim King Dovid as their direct ancestor. Um, and of course we know that it says in the Mishnah that if the father claims a son as his own, then he is his own in terms of the hereditary rights. So, uh, Moshiach ben Dovid was born Ha'alma, but he also was ben Dovid because of Yosef ben Dovid, the stepfather. And in reference to the faith which was once for all handed down and transmitted to the Kadoshim, Yehuda is speaking of the body of objective truth which has been handed down as Masorah, as universally binding authoritative Jewish teaching of the Zikanim of Israel, that is Messianic Masorah HaZikanim, authoritative Jewish teaching of the elders of Israel to be passed down from generation to generation and and as such this requires Messianic Shomrim to guard the Orthodox Jewish faith and contend for it and accurately transmit it through the generations in violet. And of course you have to remember that Shaul of Tarsus was a yeshiva boker who studied under the Tana Gamliel, and he is an ultra-Orthodox Jew. And because his letters influence all the other writers to one degree or another, and because he, he is the focus of the book of Acts, the, the, uh, the, the, the actual Orthodox Jewish Brit Hadashah is an ultra-Orthodox Jewish document. And it's unfortunate that in many of the films this is not clear. You, you wouldn't get this uh, impression because Rav Shaul is not depicted historically as he should be. And we know that um, the Messianic Shomrim, who guard the Orthodox Jewish faith, the word orthos is right, the word doxa is belief, we're talking about right belief, the ones that contend for it, the Shomrim that contend for the faith, once for all delivered to the Kadoshim, that, that accurately transmitted through the generations, uh, you see, it's for the purpose of equipping such Shomrim that the Orthodox Jewish Bible was translated. And this work really uh, began only four years after the Six-Day War. You have to understand this. When a revived Jewish interest in the Mashiach began worldwide because prophetically Jerusalem was no longer trodden down by the Gentiles, Luke 21, 24, and the fig tree replanted in 19... 48 was beginning to blossom, Luke chapter 21, verses 29 to 31. So this was a prophetic thing that God did, raising up this translation. 
which was begun only four years after the Six-Day War. And after two dec uh, over two decades before, uh, I had, uh, you know, later on, after it was translated, I was able to, to read uh, one of the first uh, modern English translations of the Bible. And as Benson uh, Bobrick has said, next to the Bible itself, the English Bible has and is the most influential book ever published. And so uh, we know that this English book will be influential because it is an English Bible. And I should say this on a more personal note. Uh, the Bible is a well-worn treasure map to me, which I've been studying nearly all my adult life. Without this infallible map, we sit in darkness, without hope, without God in the world. What is the treasure that the Bible maps us toward? Uh, Yosef, Yosef Chai in uh, Bereshus. He had treasure put in the sacks of his brothers. Genesis forty three twenty three, treasure that did not bring them joy because they didn't know their Savior. Genesis forty three verse eighteen. There is a veil over the eyes when the unregenerate person gazes at Scripture. Second Corinthians three fourteen, an idol stands at the door of uh, of his inner gate. Ezekiel eight three, and as long as the scales uh, of unregenerate uncircumcision Acts nine eighteen have not been removed, the the Scriptures are unfathomed. Uh, 1 Corinthians 2.14 and there is no turning to the Lord no craving for the pure milk of the word not even a taste for, for the pure milk of the word see Rav Shaul understood the Bible as a way of of when, when he was this nitpicking legalist who was trying to justify himself and find righteousness by the mitzvahs. He could not see the Mashiach, and he could not see the blindness of his own heart. He was a blind guide, a blind rabbi, the blind leading the blind, until the scales were taken off of his eyes. And unfortunately, some believers stop looking for treasure in their Bibles after a while. They don't stick to the map. They don't rely on the word to chart their course. And after a while, they get detoured into a maze of self-help books and psychology books and intellectual speculation and philosophy and educational books and mass media punditry and uh, other kinds of religiosity. But in his mercy, by his grace, from the Read More bookstore in Hollywood, California, where I first found the Bible when I was 27 years old. To this present hour, God has been holding me in the Word. And that's what He wants to do with you. And this Orthodox Jewish Bible can give a fresh uh, shot in the arm to your uh, pursuit of the scriptures and of this book which is really your road map to heaven and you know I I think that uh, Matthew chapter 13 verse 44 is a parable about a treasure buried by someone in a field then found by someone else and then immediately reburied or hidden so that we can go and sell everything we have in order to get that priceless field and that treasure and and that's what the Bible has been for me for the last 40 years and I want to offer it to you free of charge on our website if you'll just take the few to, few minutes needed to download it and may Hashem bless you greatly may your eyes be